Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Malt Channel. On Point Reviews, all day, every day. We're back with a very, very important one that I really wanted to review. Actually, it's been a minute, okay? And But I, I've always wanted to do this. Um, you know, this perfume is part of a trio that I have that, you know, it's, it's made quite an impression on me. Why and how? Well, because, you know, when this t channel started... You know, I was all about that Clive Christian. You know, I was so impressed with Clive Christian. I made a video about it. Is it worth it? I did a video on X. I did a video on C. But you know what? It's the gold bottle that I've always had. I've always worn it. But then, you know, I never got the chance to review it. So here we are today with Clive Christian. Number one. Clive Christian, number one. And uh, one thing you'll notice is that it says that it's the world's most expensive perfume. Obviously... You know, there's inflation and all that. This one was uh, started in, in 2001, I believe. Um, but uh, obviously, it's not the most expensive perfume anymore. But, I mean, the question is, is that are we are we going to be intimidated by that? You know, did I get intimidated? No, because when I started, I was like, all right, most expensive, let's go. You know, I want to try it out. I don't get intimidated with these prices or, you know, anything that makes it look in expensive. Because at the end of the day you know the real you know the real judge is how the juice smells inside it, it doesn't matter what the bottle says but does the juice inside make you feel like you are wearing the most expensive perfume in the world we're going to tackle that today and find out for sure before that we're going to go hit the music Hey, we're back, guys. Clive Christian, number one, most expensive perfume in the world. All gold bottle. Uh, and, I mean, at this point, I mean, I can't really say this is the most expensive perfume I have because I have others that are pretty expensive, probably more expensive than this one, okay? But like I said before, we're going to talk about the juice inside, okay? Now, one of those things I will compliment this fragrance is that this is easily one of those perfumes that... Um, does two things for me that I like. You know, I don't wear it as much, but when I do, it does a couple of things. Number one, it is highly usable for me. Uh, and number two, it provides me a great olfactory experience. Okay, just wearing this. As the wearer, this one I enjoy. Okay, because there are fragrances that, you know, you might enjoy, but the others don't enjoy, or you don't enjoy so much, but the others like. Um, but for the wearer, this one, uh, for me, it, it provides a really great olfactory experience, okay? Um, why? Because this fragrance right here has different elements of perfumes that I already like, or probably what you guys like. Okay? It has powder. It has spice. It has masculine-leaning florals. It's got vetiver. You know, like I said, I don't use it a whole lot, but when I do, it's like, wow, holy crap, I forgot about this. This one's actually really amazing, you know? Um, and as with all their perfumes, you know, Clive Christian always brings, you know, the expensive ingredients to the table. I believe that the sandalwood here is like 50, year old, 50 years old, and uh, they bring the best quality ingredients. And I know that because, you know, like I said, the longevity, uh, we'll talk about it later, is pretty damn good on this one okay so number one clive christian number one opens with citrus and spices for maybe a few minutes just a few minutes maybe like 10 minutes for the citrus um and after 10 minutes you know number one develops into one of my favorite parts about it which is the florals okay so number one has this distinct floral combination of ilang ilang and iris together okay and uh, ilang ilang is a floral that i've noticed that you know actually it works great for men you know um I have a perfume that I haven't reviewed yet, which is the 2020, 2020 Bodicea Fire Sapphire. And that one has Ilang Ilang in it, you know. And in one of the groups I'm in, like they love Le Labo Ilang Ilang. The men, okay. So it's it's sort of like a masculine leaning floral, okay. It's fragrant. It's uh, intoxicating, nice whiffs, you know. But it's not like super potent or super like, you know, like like if you overdo roses, it, it can be flor uh, like a, a femme floral, but not this one, okay. Um, and then when you mix it with the iris, which is the powder bomb, like it really provides this combo of powdery feels, you know, plus 
floral nice whiffs feels you know what i mean it's it's such a a, a potent combo you know like because the iris there it's it's not too powdery it's just there to exist but like i said when they when when it's matched with the ilang ilang it just provides that combo that will cause this nice sillage you know and then people always say the sillage of this is pretty nice or how it hits the nose well that's because of that powder of that ilang ilang uh, powder of that iris mixed with a floral the ilang ilang when it's together it's really really quite nice and more importantly masculine okay now second um is when the spices as well you know as they develop those are spice notes that we all love you know such as cardamom paprika caraway which is kind of like it's like cumin it's like persian cumin and some herbaceous notes like artemisia i mean this one this next combo it provides the floral combo with a nice spicy kick you know that really really curves this scent into masculine territory and i appreciate the part the spice part because you know most men especially you know guys that are uh buying fragrances just for day to day i mean you know that's the reason why parfums de marley is so big you know there's some spice in their stuff you know and number one dude does the job as well with the spice okay so you know when we say hey you know i gotta spice up my relationship man you gotta add the spice to your fragrance you got to add some spice i think that the spice is the really masculine side of number one it's the most seductive part of number one and it's also the one that uh, i think that people looking for mass pleasing fragrances or used to stuff like that parfums de marley like you might appreciate that part of number one is the spice that's added to the already awesome iris elan combo okay now the vetiver here the vetiver here is rich oh, very rich really you, you could smell it okay and it, this is a win for all vetiver lovers um and as the fragrance to, you know continues man the vetiver is blended with some sweet marzipan like heliotrope uh, it's got some lovely rose the rose actually is just like a background player it's not even like a rose that you can you know it's like a, a standout rose um but it's a great background actor here as well as that 50 year old sandalwood you know sandalwood is one of my favorite notes it's really nice and you know i think that this part is again wonderful because this part right here where you can really smell the vetiver as it continues you can smell the uh, heliotrope the rose the sandalwood is great because you know what you can smell them all individually you know like the first part it's like the elong and the iris are like together and then the the spice notes are kind of like together but this one you can really smell if you really you know press your nose and try to smell it you can smell the rich vetiver you can smell the sandalwood man you can smell the rose uh, it, this one is absolutely nice and like i told you from the beginning that's exactly why the wearer will love it as well why the wearer will also especially if you're into perfumes and you know these notes the wearer will also feel this really great experience okay um I mean to me that's that's important and the the most important thing to note here is that clive christian number one can be worn anytime any season anywhere that's right um i think that you know it has that moniker most expensive perfume in the world but the real selling point is that it is a masculine blend of florals and spices with some woodiness um and it doesn't ever make you wonder if you were wearing a femme perfume you know i mean and by the way clive christian has a number one for women okay so they made a number one for women which i don't know what that's like I can't wait to try that just to see but this one right here is very masculine leaning you'll never wonder you know if if you bought a unisex oh my gosh you know it smells kind of fam um i think that's really the selling point there and the performance in most you know pretty much all clive christians i've had is above 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 average you know some people say that the number one is uh, the longest lasting perfume that they've ever had and uh for me yeah i mean when i put this on literally whole day like i'm wearing it without a doubt and again because of that powdery floral spicy nature it's gonna go hit everyone around you it's gonna make people go who what the heck is that mm. now the dry down here by the way guys is even better uh to my nose i detect some powdery musk some amber and some tonka you know the tonka we all love uh and some 
huge doses of cedar that makes the dry down really woody really woody you know and there's vanilla as well okay i particularly like the tonka here which is like a cherry almond type smell and the musk combination that powdery musk it's really great uh, again very masculine yummy warm and inviting you know now i think number one um maybe this was made a long time ago but whoever made this is a genius because he basically made uh clive christian number one to do a myriad of jobs as a fragrance you know you don't just slap a uh, oh this is number one for nothing you know uh the floral part here is to convey class and sophistication for me uh, especially if you're an elite type man or an elitist type man and you got to convey class sophistication that floral part uh, does that the cardamom and the spices i think is for the modern seductive gentleman you know and to me the dry down is for when that guy takes the girl on a date and eventually takes it back to the suite or the home or the uh the condo you know what i mean like i think that because of the fact that this perfume lasts long in a whole day i mean i think that man can do all three you know and basically in a day you know you know you can show class and sophistication at uh, any event or at work and then still do your day-to-day -day, still go on a date with the same fragrance and still kill it that's amazing you know what i'm saying so you know i think it's really worth adding to your collection if you haven't or at least you know try it again i will not bring budgets in here because everybody can afford a decant or even the official sample from clive christian to just try this and there are many many selling uh, platforms that are selling number one so i'm not even going to do that because this is very very available uh everywhere okay so to me it is underrated in the fragcom sense because it's not talked about a lot but it should be i think it should be in the conversation this number one is truly truly amazing it's a must-have for me i'm really glad i mean that it's among some of my uh, golden bottle perfumes you know because it does give that class but like i said before it does a myriad of jobs it doesn't just you know show pure opulence or sheer opulence that that's all it is i think that this can be worn anytime anywhere any season okay so that's it that's my review of clive christian number one if you like this video make sure you like this video as well as subscribe if you like my description and if you've tried it before make sure you comment below i would love to hear your comments i always respond to them and again thank you for our subscribers i appreciate you guys you know we're growing every day appreciate you i want to welcome you um and uh, make sure to follow my Instagram. So that's one of my f main modes of talking to you guys. If you want to get, you know, talk to me like live and like maybe, you know, you want to send in some fragrances to review. Make sure you contact me through there. Okay. And until then, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. This is Troy D. God bless and take care.